So this is the first video ever made on the lore of Gun Raiders, and quick disclaimer, this means that I may be proven wrong in the future, so without further ado, the lore of Gun Raiders. First off, I'm going to say that I believe that when we play Gun Raiders, we are essentially working for a company invested in world domination. What did he say? And I'm going to call them the Unnamed. Now hear me out. I believe that the Unnamed plans to take over the whole map, and you can see this in many ways, the main evidence being one, the weapons, and two, enslavement. So if you go into cave, we can see a bunch of skeletons in cages. I think these are natives from the Dune region who have been forced into doing labour for the Unnamed until they die, mining for resources to make weapons. The same cages can also be found in Ruin, which has natural resources such as tree roots, magical bouncy mushrooms. The workers would have been put to work in cave mining to get the crystals and minerals for weapons and in Ruin they were put to work to get potion ingredients to make the potions. There are various different weapons produced by the unnamed across gun raiders that can be narrowed into two categories. The weapons and the potions we use, um, and the bigger ones, uh, like the tank and yard, the massive missiles in silo, and the guns on top of cargo. But why do the unnamed need all these weapons? We haven't even seen any signs of life, apart from the skeletons and the dragon. The dragon skeleton lays on the outskirts of the Dune hub map and doesn't pose any threat to us anymore. To take over Dune, the Unnamed needed a base of operations to start their invasion, and they chose where the hub is now. However, there was a bigger dragon that already lived there, where the Unnamed wanted to build. So in one of the last updates of Season 1, they built Silo, and in Silo was a missile capable of killing anything, even a dragon. So the Unnamed shot the missile from Silo, it landed in Dune, killed the dragon, and made a crater. And that's where they built the Dune hub map. So the unnamed airstriked Dune, killed the dragon and made a base. What about everything else? What relevance are the other maps? Here are my thoughts. Yard or the Nexus hub could be training grounds. A temple is a building the natives of Dune made that was overtaken by the unnamed and evidence is the boxes you can see everywhere. Station is probably where the players or soldiers wait to be transported to different maps. Club, a place for relaxing for the soldiers when not training. Cargo, used to transport soldiers and whatever is in these boxes to other locations. Pit is the mouth of a creature native to June, and that's pretty much all I know. Um, kills you if you stand in it. Ruin is the potion brewery location. Uh, it's seen evident in the, the massive pot. You can see the mushrooms, roots, and water. That's probably all resources as well. Silo, that's the missile launcher we talked about earlier. And cave is the excavation point for materials and minerals to build more stuff so the unnamed can expand. Even with all this information, there are still some questions that need answering, such as, what's the purpose of Fort, Monolith, and Depot? How many other dragons were killed and where? And will the residents of other lands try to stop the unnamed? 